high. In the previous slide, uh, we discussed uh, detail about the intake uh, and the compression. Uh, in this, now we are going to detail see about the, the remaining stages of the green engine. Uh, the third is mixing. Uh, in this, uh, the chamber comes uh, in front of the fuel injector. Uh, the injector spray press fuel into the compressor. The, the fuel mixes well with the compressor air. Uh, the proper mixing leads to cut uh, CO emissions. The mixing phase has enough time to produce an ideal or air fuel mixture. Uh, the spark plug is positioned towards the other end of the rotor. Uh, the mixing achieves the complete body of the fuel. The super mixer charge is forced by the arm towards the spark plug. The next is the combustion. Uh, in combustion, the charge is ignited by the spark plug. The combustion time can be varied to burn different grade of fuels. The control combustion time gives the complete burning of the charge. The emission are generally reduced. Uh, the next is the power. Uh, the burned products uh, of the combustion are expelled. Um, out of the compression chamber, the high pressure gases push the arm of the compression chamber causing work output. The sudden increase in the volume ensures that the more power is released or in other words the thermal en energy is fully utilized. The power is obtained in the form of power pulses. These pulses reduce the area of the engine. The power pulses also reduce the explosive noise. The final is the exhaust. Uh, the burnt gases are expelled out. The gases are first expanded in the expansion zone. Uh, the expansion ratio is more when you ensure the maximum output. Also, the maximum energy is gained from the gases. The temperature also reduced and an optimum utilization of the burnt gas is achieved. The burnt gases after expansion are pushed into the exhaust pipe and released into the atmosphere. Thus, the six phase cycle is completed. <coughs> Uh, next we will say technical features. The technical features involved in the green engine are direct in air intake, uh, strong swirling, uh, direct fuel injection, uh, lowest surface to volume ratio, controllable combustion time, uh, high working temperature, high expansion ratio, self adapting sealing system, multi power pulses and finally super air fuel mixing. Uh, next, you will see the advantages of the green engine. As the green engine is very compact with the multi cover pulses, the size and weight could be only 1.5 uh, to 1.10 of the conversion piston engines of the same output. The thermal efficiency of the green engine could be potentially as high as 60%, even more if the water air in technology is, is considered. Due to six phase of the working principle, uh, super air fuel mixture process and capture volume combustion with controllable time. The green engine becomes the only real multi fuels engine on our planet. Any uh, liquid or gaseous fuels can be burned well. Uh, with perfectly air fuel mixture, a complete combustion under the lower peak temperature and the free of quenching effect, uh, the emission of CO, HCC, and the NOx could be near zero. Due to inherence of the good dynamic and static balance, uh, the performance of the green engine is smooth. Limited parts, uh, small in size, uh, light in weight, it means that it be the on the much lower cost. Uh, further, it possess some disadvantages such as uh, not readily available, uh, still in experimental stages, various in smoke capacity. <laughs> Next, you will see the comparison of the green engine with combustion engines. Uh, when emission is uh, compared, the green engine is low. Uh, in the conversion engine, it is high. Uh, uh, noise, is, noise and vibration is uh, less in green engine while more in conversion engine. Uh, volumetric efficiency is high in green engine while it is low in the conversion engine. Heat loss in excess gas is less in green engine, it is more in the conversion engine. Uh, torque and outwork is uh, high in green engine and it is low in conversion engine. Uh, the green engines uh, could be used as ideal power plants on very wide range of applications such as transportation, communications, form, mine, engineering, uh, military uses, aircraft and submarines. The next final will be conclusion. The environment pollution can be effectively overcome by the use of the green engine. 
Uh, it can use almost any type of fuel available. It is superior to the conventional IG engine in terms of smooth operation, efficiency, engine, efficiency cost. Compared to conventional crystal engine operated on 4 plus, the green engine is a actual 6 plus internal combustion engine with much more expensive ratio. Already, it may be used as in some options like aircraft, ships, and locomotives. This is going on for the effective use in the wide range of transport engines. Thank you.